Hi loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. I am Charmaine and in this video, I'm going to be talking and sharing with you my pen collection or shall I say fountain pen collection from the first half of the year. Now, I'm really excited but also a little bit nervous to do this video just because one, I don't have a whole lot and the big number two is that I am no expert. So. Um, I guess a little um, backstory is that I got into a uh, fountain pen back in April. So I purchased, well, no, I shouldn't say that. I actually got the Pilot Kakuno back in December and I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was just like, no, maybe this isn't for me. So I kind of just let the whole fountain pen thing go. And then in April 1st, I received my first order of fountain pen which is the Caveco Macchiato right here this baby right here and ever since then I have been hooked I absolutely loved how this wrote so much that as you can see I have quite a collection of Cavecos um and then I you know went into other ones and yeah now I'm just kind of like in love with it and that's pretty much all I use when I'm writing Aside from the Pentel Kleina pen, I just love that pen, but for the most part, 80% of the time, I'm using one of my fountain pens. It's just been like a fun little journey. Um, so yeah, again, I'm no expert. I'm just, you know, here for fun and I love using them. And, you know, what I'm going to be talking about is just from experience. And yeah, it's it's been a big, like new hobby for me and also i guess just like a fun learning experience so anyways with that side um i do have a few pens over here that are rather i don't know like they're cheaper fountain pens and you know a lot of people actually really really love some of these or especially the kakuno but i just can't like i don't know what it is so let me put these aside and then we'll talk about that like i said i purchased the pilot kakuno last december and maybe it was the ink that i didn't like or the combination of the two but it was just it wrote too thick and i think when i did it like when I filled it with the ink and everything, it just got everywhere and it was just so messy that I was just like totally turned off. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll give it a go again now that I have inks that I like and I kind of have a little bit more experience with like inking things and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I, I really didn't like how this wrote. It was just way too thick for me, even though it is a fine nib. I purchased this on Amazon. It was super cheap. And it's just the cutest little pen, to be honest. So, like, I don't want to get rid of it, but it just didn't work out for me when I when I tried it. So maybe I will give it a go again one of these days just to see because, like I said, I have a bit more experience with, like, inking things and just, like, how to write with them and stuff like that. But, yeah, I just didn't really get on with this. And then I have these. These are Platinums, I think. Yeah, this is by Platinum and these were really affordable as well and i love how they look i really really do look at that it's super cute and there's like a cute little star on the nib and i was so excited about this i think they're both yeah they both have like cute little stars on the nib and i think i got these both in fine um but when i inked it it leaked everywhere so i don't know what i did but um, it didn't leak over here or anything. It just kept leaking here. So the ink was all over the cap. It was all over the nib. It was like some of it was over here. It just kept leaking. I don't know what it was. So yeah, I haven't used these since. Like I cleaned them out and I was like, nope, don't want to get ink everywhere. But they are just super cute. So let me know what I did wrong. Um, I all I did was put in a cartridge, to be honest, because it came with a cartridge and a converter. Oh yeah, I used the converter, this thing. And yeah, it just kept leaking out of the nib. Even when it's just sitting there, it was just leaking. So I don't know. Really sad about it because it's such a cute little pen. And I was really excited about it. So 
those are kind of like the beginner pens that everyone was talking about um, that I got to try out and they just didn't work okay like I said my very first um, fountain pen in April when this whole journey really took off was the Caveco sport in macchiato oh, oh by the way this pen case is by girologio there's the brand and i got mine off of uh anderson pens i will link it below but i believe other um stores have it as well like resellers or stationery stores um i really love it it's like this really nice swedish material and then the inside is this beautiful plaid and this is a 12 case pen so anyways um this is my very first fountain pen um that i actually really really loved i loved it so much that i just kept buying Caveco sports in like every color that I have so I have this in extra fine and it writes beautifully so with Caveco sports I find that it does have quite a bit of feedback because you know it is an extra fine so you're really gonna feel that kind of like grit on the paper but I enjoy it it's not too scratchy for me like I, I think it's awesome to be honest so i really do love these little pens so yeah i have the um, macchiato and extra fine i have this one that's currently inked right now this is in blush pitaya and i think this one is also extra fine yeah so i write very very small i prefer an extra fine nib um so a lot of my cavecos are actually an extra fine and like i said i have quite a few here so let me get them out and then i'll see what nibs they have because not all of them have extra fines so those two are extra fine here's a mint colored caveco sport and this one has a fine nib I actually have never inked this one, so this is totally brand new. And I tried to put, um, what's it called, this kind of clips on the Caveco Sports. So just like the normal clips. And I always try to match it with whatever color um, the finials are. This is finial, right? Like on the tip. Um, so yeah, this one's silver. So those are all like my Caveco Sports with the silver finish um okay and then i have this one i think this one's just called green it's like a beautiful almost like emerald hunter green and as you can see this one's gold which is really pretty i love the gold um this one's an extra fine i also have never inked this one so that one's new <laughs> um i have this one i think this one's called bordeaux it's just a beautiful burgundy wine color. I've used this one just a little bit, not a whole lot. Um, this one's extra fine, but it's not as fine as these two for some reason. So, yeah. Um, and then I have the white. And I think this one's also... Oh no, this one's a medium. Look at that. I think I switched the nibs on those. I, I know you can like easily switch these out. So I've done that with a few of them. But yeah, this one's the medium. I have inked this white one before, but I've never actually like used it. Um, I think I just inked it with a little bit of ink just to try out and it's okay. Um, I don't know what it is about the white color. It just, I just don't like it. I think it's just too white. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't gravitate towards this white Caveco as much as I thought I would. Um, so anyways, those are all of my Caveco sports. Now, I have three more here and they're the Caveco collection. Um, I mean, they look the same, but these are like, I don't know, the limited edition ones, I guess you would say, because these say Caveco Sport and then this one or these ones say Caveco Collection and these I've actually used quite a bit since I got them. 
So my all-time favorite is this one. This is Dark Olive. I got this one after the macchiato. So this one and the macchiato I've been using since April nonstop. And only this month. And today is what? September 24th. Four, I think today is um, I finally cleaned them out because I finally used up all the inks that were in them and I'm giving them a break but I love this one and the macchiato they're my top two from this entire Caveco collection that I have um, but anyways yeah this is the dark olive and for the Caveco collection series I guess you would say I have these kinds of clips on them just so I can you know differentiate between the two um, and I just think it just makes it a little bit more special so yeah I just love this color dark olive I think it's so good especially with the gold detailing it's beautiful and this one is in extra fine. Um, so the thing I noticed as well about Cavecos is that yes, they do have a lot of feedback, but the more that you that I wrote with it at least, um, the smoother it's gotten. So especially with this one, I've been using this pen since April and I've noticed that it's getting smoother and smoother. Um, probably because I've been using it so, so, so much. Um, so yeah, that's one thing to keep in mind, I guess. Um, okay. And then I also got this or did I, I got this one first. Yeah. So this is the iridescent one that came out over the summer and I just think it's so beautiful. There's actually another one that I think is called coconut. It's like a frosty white. It's very similar to this but it doesn't have the iris iridescent um, effect that you see right now. Um, so yeah, I went with this one. Obviously, I just love that purple and green sheen. I think it's beautiful and this one is also in extra fine. So yeah, I've used this one quite a handful of times too. I, I do really enjoy it, especially especially the color. I think it's beautiful. And then last but not least is the, I think this is lavender. Yeah, I think it's lavender, not lilac. And I just love this. It was so much fun to use this over the summer. I think it's such a gorgeous color. And I think I do have an extra fine. Yeah, extra fine nib as well. I think I had like Sailor 252 in this and it was so good together. Like such a good color combination. So I did use this one quite a bit as well over the summertime. So those are all of my Caveco sports or Caveco pens that is like this. I do have one more Caveco which is this one. I believe this was my third fountain pen and I love this one. Oh gosh, it won't come out. Okay, so this is the Caveco 20s Jazz. I saw this off of somebody on YouTube. I think it was Abby, Abby C. Um, and I just fell in love with it. It's so pretty and also very affordable for what it is. I think it was like 70, 60, 70 dollars, which I don't think is bad at all. It's such a beautiful pen. It has be like good weight to it and just the aesthetic is so beautiful. I, I love it. I love how it looks. Um, it also comes in other colors, if you're wondering. I'm thinking of getting the orange next. But this is such a beautiful pen. Now I've had this ink since April um, with different inks. Um, it's gone through quite a bit of different inks. Uh, but I always have it inked with something. It's such a beautiful pen. I might give it a break this um, season. Um, but it... I love it so much. I do have an extra fine and it writes so good. It's really, really extra fine. And I, I do think that this is a little bit smoother than the Caveco Sports. Um, so yeah, I just love this. It fits in my hand so nicely. Again, it has, you know, such good weight to it. Um, yeah, I love this pen a lot. Like just the detail of it reminds me of like a teddy bear. It's, it's so cute. I love it. So let me show you this pen case because I always get questions about this pen case. I know I got ink on it. I was sad, but then I was like, eh, it's fine. So this is from Shibui PH, made in the Philippines. And I purchased mine off of Gold Spot Pens. They do have other ones as well, like a bigger case if you want that can fit even planners and whatnot. They have pencil cases. They have these in different colors. So there's a lot to choose from, but this is the... 
the undyed leather one. I will link it below. I think I paid around 60 bucks for this, which I thought at the time was so much, but really it has, you know, it has proven itself to be really worth it. I love it so much. I know it's showing some wear already, but that's totally okay with me. Um, everything is leather in this. Even this is leather, which I love. By the way, it's adjustable, so it doesn't matter how big your pen is, it will fit. I love it so much. And then this little flap, I usually have my scissors and tweezers in here for on the go. And yeah, I just, I just love it. So there's a few more pens that I've gotten um, the first half of the year. This one right here is a Twisby Diamond. Or what is it? Twisby Diamond 580 Rose Gold 2. So this is not the mini. This is like the full size one. I love this so much. And oh my goodness, I got this like end of April, I think, when it released. And it's such a beautiful pen. Now... Remember I said earlier, I'm not really into the white pens. This one though, I feel like it's different. I don't know if you can see the difference. The Caveco white is just so in your face, I feel like. But this white is just like softer. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But I just, when I use this and I put it next to all my planners and stuff, I'm just like, it's so out there like it doesn't belong if that makes sense but with this one I feel like the white is a little softer and it like easily matches anything I just love it anyways that's just like I don't even know if that made sense to some of you you're probably just like it's it's white Charmaine relax um but I love this pen a lot this I got like I said end of April and I inked it up with Colorverse Chesapeake Bay and it was, you know, I filled it all the way, all the way. And I still have that much left. Like this holds so much ink, it is crazy. And I've written quite a bit with this, like in my journals. So I'm really surprised. I'm, I'm getting there though, we're getting there. But anyways, this is just kind of what it looks like if you don't know. It's rose gold, it's so pretty. So pretty, I love it. Even the red detailing there on top. But yeah, this is my only rose gold pen. And I'm really, really happy with it. Um, this one is an extra fine. It writes really smoothly. I love it. It's just, you know, it's super fine, but it doesn't have as much feedback as the Caveco does. I love it. Love it a lot. Highly recommend if you're a beginner, you should check this out. It's so easy to fill too. Um, you know, it has this, um, what's it called? Like built-in converter, I guess. Or is this piston? I don't know. But all you do is dip it and then screw it up and then you're done. Like you don't have to buy a whole separate converter or anything like that. It's all in here, which I think is awesome. So, yeah. Love this pen a lot. Okay, and then I got uh, my Lamy's, so let me take it out. I have two Lamy's. I don't know if I will buy more. Um, so I got this one. This is the Lamy in cream, and I actually, was it? Yeah, extra fine. So I got this in extra fine. This is currently not inked at the moment. Um, a lot of the pens I showed you aren't inked. The only ones that are inked are in these guys. Oh, and this one. And this um, but everything else are not inked so anyways this is the Lamy um what is this called Lamy Safari in cream and this released sometime this year it was like um a red one and then this one and they partnered together and I really love this how it looks how it feels it has a matte finish it's really nice um, I do really like it. It's uh, extra fine, but not as fine as I thought. It kind of writes like a twist B. So it has that smoothness and the thickness is pretty much the same. So I do like them. Um, are they my favorites? No. I think this is more so of a wet writer. Um with the inks I've tried with them at least. Um, but with this one, um, this is also a Lamy Safari. 
I think this released a few years ago. I purchased this one on eBay. It was kind of hard to find. I forget what the name is. Powder Rose, I want to say. I could be wrong, but everything will be listed in the info box down below if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I also got this one in extra fine. And now I have a Sailor ink in this and it writes beautifully like it's not too wet or anything it's perfect so maybe just the maybe it's just the the ink that i used when i was using this one and yeah uh, maybe that ink was just you know coming out too wet or something but i do like the extra fine of this lamy safari with the sailor ink um that's working beautifully so yeah, I'm using this. Um, again, they're not my favorites though. Just like how they look. It's pretty cute. They're very simple pens. Like I wish the silver here is pink. Like how this one is all the same color. I think that would look a lot better. Also, this one is a glossy finish. And this one's matte. So you can see the difference there. But such a cute... Um, pen right um so yeah those are the lamy safaris again i don't think i'm gonna be purchasing any more of these um unless they, they come out with like a super cute color that i have to have but other than that they're they're okay pens i like them they're not bad um yeah i would still use them okay and then i got these are the two pens that i got in june so first I got the Laban. This is the Laban 325 Sakura. I love this pen. It's really pretty. Um, I have it in extra fine. It's actually not inked at the moment. I've just cleaned it out and I'm going to give it a break because I got another Laban um, in August. Which you guys will see that in my next pen collection. I kind of want to do this like every half of the year because i don't want the video to be super long because right now i'm looking as 22 almost 21 minutes long that i've been blabbing so anyways this is the laban 325 or wait what does it say 3952 i'm pretty sure it's 325 sakura i don't know but it's such a beautiful pen i saw this and really really wanted it it was the first thing that I uh, checked off of, of my wish list. Like when I finally sat down and made my fountain pen wish list, this was my number one that I was like, I, I wanna get this one first. Just like the little details on it is so beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love the color combination and just like all the gold detailing. It's so beautiful. Now this is an extra fine and I find that it is, um, not as smooth. Uh, it's actually pretty similar to this one, to my Caveco 20s Jazz. So it does have some feedback. But um, I do know, like, you know, it's because the nib is super fine that you get that feedback. And my new Laban pen is actually a fine nib. They just grinded it down to be an extra fine. Um, but it's not as fine as this one still. So I would count my new one to be fine. And that one writes so much smoother just because the nib is bigger um so yeah that's another thing you know to keep in mind the smaller nibs the i guess more feedback you get um again i'm still learning with this so i don't know that's just kind of what my experience have been like um but i still do really enjoy writing with this one i've used this all summer and i i love it so much i'm just gonna give it a break for the season because yeah it, it needs a break it actually um I don't know what happened. I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but there are some scratches right there. I think it was because I shoved it in with my other stuff in the pencil case, but it's fine. It's fine. It's such a beautiful pen. Okay, last but not the least, this is my last purchase in June. And this is my very first uh, Sailor fountain pen. Um, I've always wanted a Sailor fountain pen and this was my first one. Um, you would think it'd be pink, but I didn't want to, you know, I guess spend the money at the moment. So I bought this because one, I love the color and two, it was such a good deal on Amazon. I am pretty sure I shared it with you guys when I first got it. Um, I think it's still on Amazon. I will link whatever I can down below in the description box. Also, I'll like make a list on my Amazon store 
for fountain pens whenever I see a deal I will put it on that list so you guys just keep checking that list um, and you know shop the sales I guess um, so anyways this is Dragon Palace um, from Sailor it's one of the Shikiori I believe um, collections that they came out with a few years ago I want to say two years ago maybe I could be totally wrong but I love this one so much it's actually in medium fine um, it's 14k and I only paid I think it was $87 with this all the way from Amazon Japan and it is beautiful it came with everything and it's authentic and it's just I love it I love it so much so this has really um what is it called like it really made me love um sailor uh, and made me want to buy more because I loved how this one wrote. So it is medium fine, so it's a little bit thicker than what I prefer. Like I said, I really like my extra fine nibs, especially the Caveco ones, like how fine that gets. It's just awesome. But this one, even though it is medium fine, it can still write pretty small. Like I just love how the ink flows in these. Also, just like how it feels when you're writing it. It's so smooth and fine at the same time like I just enjoy writing with this a lot in my journal so this one's actually inked it's been inked since I got it I I've just been like switching the inks and I've been really really enjoying this so again this has really opened my eyes and realized I love Sailor and that gold nib makes such a huge difference so that is it i love this so much definitely stay tuned for my next pen collection which will be towards the end of this year because like i said i kind of want to do this like every half of the year just to see how we progressed or whatever <laughs> You guys know what I'm saying, right? So anyways, that is it. Again, everything will be linked and listed in the info box down below. Um, let me know what your favorite fountain pens are in the comments or like how you started, when you started, what was your first fountain pen? I would love to hear all about it. I think this is such a fun little hobby and I know it can be expensive, but to be honest with you, all these Cavecos I've got such good deals on. Um, I think I only paid for full price for like these guys. I paid full price for those because I bought them off of a stationery store. And then everything else I purchased on Amazon whenever they would go on sale. So again, definitely check out my Amazon store. I will have a fountain pen list on there and I will be putting... Um, pens that I find on Amazon that are on sale and such good deals on that list like I will keep it updated for you guys so yeah definitely just check that out but yeah you guys this has been such a fun journey I love um, trying out new pens and just you know trying out inks inks are a whole like different thing like I learned that it really depends on the pen, ink, and paper combination. Like what? What, what, what? Um, yeah, it's just like there's so many things um, that goes into this. And I had no idea. But this entire journey has been so, so, so much fun. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any video requests, video suggestions that I should do just let me know also again let me know in the comments i would love to hear from you guys you know about your fountain pen journey um but yeah okay i think that's it i feel like i'm repeating myself in this video i'm looking at the time oh my god 30 minutes oh my goodness okay that is why i wanted to do just like every half of the year for this because i blab too much okay anyways that's it thank you guys so much for being here um again everything will be listed and linked in the info box below and until next time bye <laughs>